everyone and welcome back to another video i am just off to asda to do a click and collect order um we've been away on holiday so we've run right out of everything i did stop yesterday and get some bread and milk and a few reduced items from uh the little tesco's near me it's like a petrol station tesco express they had a lot of things that were reduced so I made the most of getting some reductions and I will pop that footage in for you in a minute and then I'll show you what I get from Asda. Um, we've seen a lot of people trying to shop around a bit and get a few reduced bits here and there and maybe try two or three different shops. So I think I'm going to kind of see where has the offers on and pick up reduced bits as and when I can to try and save a bit of money. Um, I've also been reading up a bit about the price energy in increases obviously in october the price of energy is going up again um so there's some really interesting things about the cheapest ways to cook um and things like that so i will leave the um article that i read down below for you in case you want to have a read or if you want to follow me over on instagram um i have um posted about the energy increase and the article i read so i'll leave my um username thingy here for you if you want to follow me over on instagram um so yeah next week i'm going to be trying to cook our dinners in the slow cooker and kind of freeze some portions and things so that you can reheat in the microwave because basically the article stated that the cheapest ways to cook are like the air fryer and the slow cooker and then the microwave is actually the cheapest but obviously you don't always want to just be buying ready meals so i'm going to kind of cook up my own batch cooking and freeze so that we can just pull it out and microwave it on some days as well to save a bit of energy as well as a bit of time and effort and everything else so i'm going to head to asda now and pick up our click and collect and then i will share with it with you when we get back i've popped to the local tesco express near us and just got a few reduced items on the yellow sticker so i actually just went for bread and milk so i've got a four pint of blue milk which wasn't reduced we just needed to get some milk because we're just back from holiday so that was normal price and actually it's more i don't know if it's more in there or it's gone up but it was 165 i think which is 20p more um so i'm not sure if it's because it's an express one and then i've got a king's mill 50 50 loaf because we've got no bread at all and then I also got a cucumber, which wasn't reduced because we're going to have some salad and we don't have any cucumber. So I've got that as well. That was full price. But then everything else I picked up was reduced. So um, for the boys, well, for all of us, really, but we're going to make some fruit skewers or kebabs for pudding. So I got some mango reduced down to 78p. I've got some melon and grapes reduced down to 88p. I've got some raspberries here reduced down to £1.28. And then I've also got a basil pesto and sun-dried tomato pasta because I'm going to do some chicken and salad. And I thought this would be nice for my husband and I to share. There's not too much in there. We're trying to, going to try and be healthier now after we're back from holiday and we've had quite a relaxed summer so um i thought a little bit of that with some salad and chicken would be really nice and that was reduced down to 94p i've got some of the rocket and baby leaf salad which i got for 76p got a bag of sweet potatoes they're down to 69p and there's loads in the five in there and they're really good size so that was a bargain so I'll put those in the cupboard. I know they obviously sort of um, need to be used today, apparently, but they do last a lot longer than the best before, so they will be fine. And then I picked up this skinless chicken. It's the Tesco Finest British Free Range, and they were down to two thirty nine. Um, so I got two of those. This one. Um, she had a bit of trouble with the sticker, so she took the sticker off, but she did them both for me at 239 so that was good. And then I've got a lean beef steak mint, which was down to £3, so I'll just stick that straight in the freezer. And then the last thing I've got was some of these New York bagels, 
and they were a real bargain because they would have been 190 and they were down to 59p so i will just put those in the freezer and just pull them out one at a time as we need them for lunches and things so yeah they're just a few bits that i got reduced and then i'm going to do my main shop so obviously i will put that in now and show you the rest of the bits that I've picked up. She um, did give me a top tip, which was that if you go, well, my local one anyway, is um, seven o'clock, they do the 75% reductions, but she said get there before quarter to eight when um, they get rid. If you've got a local one near you, it may be worth stopping there about seven to see what they have left. So that's my yellow sticker item. So that was quite a bargain. That all came to £15.12p, 15 I think it was. And then I'll show you what I pick up next. Okay, and here is everything that I picked up from Asda. So I did a click and collect order. It was just a 50p collect, which was really handy because it's bank holiday. And I was really lucky. There was no substitutions and there was nothing unavailable. So that was really good. So I'll start with the fresh bits. So I've got some of the smaller bananas because I find if I buy the big ones, they do get a bit wasted. So these are the kids' garden gang ones. Um, and they're a pound, I think they are, for eight. So I've got those. I've got one pack of the Asda Essentials Gala Apples because I like a red apple and they were only, I think, 80p or something. So I've got those. And then, as you know, if you've been watching a while, my husband and the boys like Granny Smith. So I've got two packs of the Granny Smith. Um, they won't last very long. And then I've got some of the Just Essentials Kiwis. This Just Essential stuff is essentially Smart Price rebranded, but they do seem like they've added quite a lot of stuff to the range. So that's really good. So you will see quite a few bits scattered throughout, but I haven't done a whole um, Just Essential shop. If you'd be interested in seeing me do a whole shop of just essentials let me know in the comments and um i can maybe do that next week or another week um for you but i have picked up a few of their bits so i've got the kiwis in that range i've got some of the just essential strawberries you see they're a little bit smaller that we're probably coming to the end of season so i probably this might be the last one that i get but they are still english strawberries which is good so I've got those and I've got the blueberries in that range as well. Henry loves blueberries, so they're main they're pretty much for him, those blueberries. And then the fruit and veg. We're trying to go a little bit healthier after holidays and summer holidays and treats and stuff. So um I've got quite a lot of sort of obviously I've got this fruit and then also got what I showed you I picked up reduced from Tesco as well. And then the salady bits I've got one of these mild and tender mixed baby leaf salads and obviously i've also got the reduced one i got yesterday and then i've got a caesar salad kit for my husband he really enjoyed the one from sainsbury's so we'll see it's got essentially the same in it caesar dressing parmesan and croutons so we'll see if he likes that as much as the sainsbury's one so i've got that for his lunches and then I've got some of the cherry tomatoes in the Just Essentials range um, for salads. It's mainly me that likes tomatoes. So I'll use those in salads and also cheese and tomato toasties. I've got another cucumber because we've used half of that cucumber that I got yesterday already. And then I've got a pack of three red onions and a broccoli head there. And then these were really good. They're cooking peppers. I'm not sure what the difference between cooking peppers and normal peppers are. But these were only about 20p more than the three pack. And I don't know if I'm just lucky, but I've got three red, a yellow and an orange, which is really good because I don't really like green. So got all of the good colours in there. And then got the Just Essentials chicken breast fillet portions and there's three really good sized ones in there for £3.26. So I will probably try and maybe half one of those and do like one and a half breasts per meal, um, maybe bulk it out with some veg and bits. So I've got that. I've got the Just Essentials salmon as well, which was £3.24 and you've got three three or four bits in there obviously they're like the off cut so they're a slightly different 
shape but they're Scottish um, salmon so that was a really good price for those and then I've got one of these larger beef rump steaks I'm going to shred this not shred it but thinly slice it and do it as kind of a either like a Thai beef or a Mongolian beef kind of recipe with some veg and some teriyaki and stuff in and I'm going to try and do that in either the slow cooker or the actor fry because like I say I'm going to try and save a bit of energy by not using the oven so much um, and we've got a gas hob so that uses a fair bit as well. I'm going to try that in the actor fry or the slow cooker and then the last of the other fresh bits I just got my husband some of the oikos strawberry yogurts. I got the boys two of these ham and cheese snacks pizzas they're just essentials and I thought for a dinner when we're having maybe the spicy beef I'll do them one of these pizzas each with some wedges and some salad got a big block of the extra mature cheese because it works out a lot cheaper to buy the big block than the smaller ones so I got a big one and that will hopefully just last us two weeks I got one pack of the honey rice roast dry cured ham they are on a two for something offer but quite often we don't get through that much ham and then they get wasted which isn't good value if you're putting it in the bin so i just got one pack this week and then probably next week when the boys go back to school i will get two packs because they'll be taking sandwiches so just one of those this week and then i will move on to the cupboardy bits for you so i've just got a plain flour and that again is the just essentials i think it was about 40 something p my jar is empty because we made homemade pizza and pancakes, so I needed to restock my jar. Got one of the apple and blackcurrant squash because I still have some Vimto and some orange in the cupboard. Got one of these tomato and mascarpone stirring sauces, probably for the boys because I've got a reduced fat pesto here. I want to do me and my husband some um, of the pesto pasta like I bought reduced we had that yesterday for dinner and it was really really nice so I'm going to try and make my own so I got a tomato mascarpone because I don't think the boys will like pesto um, so they can have that with their pasta and then I got a red kidney beans because Archie requested chili so I'm going to do chili with the reduced fat, um, reduced beef that I got yesterday and do that in the slow cooker Probably try and make a big batch and then we can have that in the reheat it in the microwave another day so it would do sort of two dinners from the slow cooker got some of this seasoning now this was two pounds which is quite pricey but i imagine you won't need too much because it's fairly hot sweet and sour hot thai and i thought that would be really nice when i do the beef i can put some of that seasoning in so and it's in a really nice tin which i will keep um so i got that one and then I've also got some Korean style sweet chilli sauce, which will either to be to go with some of the chicken or the salmon. And then um, we needed some more cereals because Henry's eating his way through quite a lot of cereals. So I got some of the Asda version of the wheat bisques. I was going to try the Just Essentials, but they were out of stock. So I just got the normal Asda ones. And then Henry requested some multigrain hoops for breakfast, which he's waiting patiently to have some of in a minute. Um, and then the crispy bits, like I say, I'm trying to go a bit healthier. So I know crisps aren't the most healthy, but I'm trying to reduce the boys' sugar because I have definitely noticed that the behaviour is worse if they're wired on loads of sugar. So we've gone for some savoury and some healthier snacks for them this week so henry chose french fries and archie chose the mccoy's flame grilled steak and then henry fancy trying the roast beef monster munch and i do really like monster munch as well and they're only 98 calories so um we've got those and they used to be three for 375 but now they're three for 425 so that's 50p increase on that offer which is quite a lot but um they are their sort of favourite crisps, those like the branded ones. So I got those. And then I got Archie some dried mango because he really likes that for snacking. Henry liked the look of the mini breadsticks. So I got you get six snack packs in there of the breadsticks. So we got those. And then I got some summer fruit rice cakes and some apple rice cakes. They're a pound a pack, which is quite expensive. 
um, but they do like to have rice cakes and they're handy when you're out and about just to shove a pack of those in your bag. So I've got those. The only sort of sugary treat I got was just a pack of shortbread fingers to go in the tin. So if we have a cup of tea or coffee, we could have a biscuit with it. And then I got some of the free range medium eggs um, for breakfasts mainly, but I may also do like a salmon niçoise salad and do some like salmon, some hard boiled eggs and some salad and potatoes sort of with it. And um, so I got those. And then I got some of the Raspberry Bear yo-yos for the boys to snack on. And then the only bakery thing I got was some crumpets because I got some bread yesterday and some reduced bagels. So, and I've also got some part baked baguettes still in the cupboard. So I'm gonna use up those bits. I may need to pop out and get another loaf of bread, um, but just got those for now. And then the only freezer item I got was some of these breaded codfish cakes, the just essentials ones. And I saw Lelianne did some fish cakes with some sweet chilli sauce and some noodles. So I thought I would give that a try as well and do these maybe with some sweet chilli and um, either maybe some noodles or like some fried rice or something and have it with sweet chilli sauce and some broccoli or something. So that is everything that I got from Asda. And I will put the price on the screen for you now. And I didn't think that was too bad considering I got a big steak, the salmon and the chicken as well. And lots of fruit and veg and kind of branded snacks, which are a bit more expensive. So, yeah, that was really good. I'll just pop it away and then I will share with you the meal plan. OK, so here's our meal plan. So yesterday I got the reduced bits and bobs from the small Tesco's and we had some seasoned up chicken breast, some salad and some pesto pasta salad that was reduced. So that's what we had yesterday. Today we're going to have some Korean beef and I'm going to do it in the air fryer. Um, tomorrow I'm going to do slow cooker beef chilli and I'm going to try and bulk it out with quite a lot of veg and maybe keep some portions that we can just microwave for lunch or another dinner. Wednesday we're going to have salmon and I'm going to do it with some sweet chilli stir fry sauce that I got and have it with some sweet potatoes and some broccoli. I might try, I've never done salmon in the air fryer, but I might try and maybe do the potatoes and broccoli in there and then maybe take them out and put the salmon in. So I'll see how that goes. And then Thursday we're going to use a chicken breast and have some pesto pasta with it and have it with some salad and then friday i mentioned i saw lily ann do the fish cakes with sweet chili so i'm gonna give that a go and i'm gonna do some homemade egg fried rice with ours um and then the rest of the chicken is going to just be cooked up for um chicken salads at lunch time so that's a look at the meal plan all of those meals will be on my Meals of the Week video for you, which I upload on a Thursday at 4pm. So if you're interested in seeing any of those, then please hit the subscribe button and I will see you in the next video.